Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. So I picked up a few things at the uh, Des Moines Con. Uh, I didn't have a ton of time to do uh, do much shopping. Uh, pretty busy show. Um, so I did pick up a few things and we'll go over it here. And uh, hey, if you guys get a chance, click like, hit subscribe, you know, check out our uh, podcast and our other videos. And uh, oh, let's get rolling on this. So this stack here, I had a regular customer customer of mine come in, uh, brought some things along for some swap and buy-in, and uh, just kind of some neat stuff. This is mainly uh, Rat Patrol. I've I've really close to a set, and I actually don't know if I need any of these, so these might all be dupes. Uh, but I think I had uh, like forty bucks into the stack of cards. I can't I can't remember. That's what happens when you get busy. You got some uh, monkeys in there. And that's is that man from Uncle? Pretty sure. Got some more monkeys cards. Uh, that was kind of neat. I was not really familiar with that uh, that set. So I got to do a little research there. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. Uh, these aren't uh, super rare or anything. The weirdos. Uh, they are original. They're not the reprint ones. So 19, uh, 1980, but it's a it's a later set. I don't know which set number it is, and I don't know if it's the real weirdos or another ripoff set like that. I'm not sure. Again, I gotta gotta do some research. I do like uh, non sports cards, but um, this stuff really isn't in my wheelhouse. Um, not that I don't like them. I just usually do movie and movie and TV stuff uh, kind of deal but a fun little set and I got uh, got a couple of Katie Keens I'm not a huge Katie Keen collector but they do have some uh, some fun covers on there uh, this one's pretty heavily damaged it's number 19 but you can see like there's a there's a huge uh, huge tear in that I uh, do think it's all there I, I gotta tell you I didn't really even look so there's probably uh, I don't know probably some paper dolls in here somewhere so just kind of fun stuff I like that older older art style yeah there we go Thought there was some paper dolls. I'm gonna look at the year 1954. So it's pre-code technically. Uh, pretty delicate shape though. Reader filler copy, or heaven forbid, somebody will <laughs> take the uh, um, paper doll pages out. I have I've had a few of those where those are missing. Uh, this was really neat. I've never had this one. This is the one that I thought was uh, the most interesting of the two. And um, she's got a few 3D books. Uh, but this one's a little more of a, uh, a risque pinup cover, which, you know, is not really typical necessarily of Katie Keen uh, type stuff. This is 1953, so it's a little older. So it's a little earlier Katie Keen. No, no glasses. Uh, which is no big deal if you want to read it. There's 3D glasses available anywhere, um, but just kind of, just kind of different, and it's a different size. I don't know if you uh, notice that. I'll I'll hold it with the other one. So this is a magazine size. Here's this is a Golden Age comic, which is not small uh, at all. But you can see here, uh, you know, it's quite a bit. Let me get that lined up. So it, it's pretty close to you know magazine size on that uh, so some fun stuff there I think I paid 60 for the pair of the the Katie's which I'm not gonna make a dime on them at that rate but that's that's all right I kind of wanted that three three-dimension one so this is all from uh, Jeremy uh, my friend at no coast comics and uh, he threw this one in that was all the dollar box and it's a little rough but uh, I do have some lady death collectors uh, some of this is for me some isn't and you'll be able to tell what's what pretty quick so house of mystery 106 uh, lower grade uh, good very good is what he's got it at and that's probably uh, pretty close Again, just some more horror sci-fi stuff. Now, in this stack from Jeremy, I spent $1,675. Yeah, you heard that right. $1,675. Um, 
there are some big books in here and there's there's one of them uh shock suspense 2.5 uh, i need that for my uh horror sci-fi collection um you know nice book i i gotta tell you though probably gonna crack it out of there it's only a 2.5 so i'll probably just crack it out and put it in the long box with my other ones uh journey into mystery rough book i've looked at this a couple of times finally decided to pull the trigger i love the cover with the skeleton or the hand coming out of the the coffin as they're walking by um, again it's a low grade book uh, from 54 pre-code horror uh, don't have it beggars can't be choosers uh, here's a neat uh, Iron Man. A lot of these uh, double-digit Iron Man issues are not particularly valuable, uh, but it's kind of got a classic cover. It's got the Thor Iron Man cover on there. Uh, pretty good grade, too. I guess I don't see what it graded it at, but that's, that's probably a, at least a fine. And Journey into Mystery, again, it's an earlier one. This is 107, first grade gargoyle, first Carnilla. Um, so a couple of first appearances. Uh, I would say very minor first appearances, so I didn't buy it because of that. Uh, but it's a Journey into Mystery book, and uh, I don't have a lot of those left. I had them all at one time, but I ended up uh, selling almost all my Marvels when, I, uh, when we moved down here. I uh, ended up own, owning uh, two houses at once and that wasn't that wasn't a lot of fun um so i ended up selling a lot of my marvel books my ff run spider-man journey into mystery thor they all kind of went to pay for where i'm living now so i can't really complain too much can i uh another classic hulk uh, namor tales to astonish um great cover i don't know if he's got uh, i didn't see what he's got graded but uh i would say fine or better uh very clean book uh, Unknown Worlds, very low grade uh, reader copy, uh, but that's fine. I didn't have one, so I picked that up. Uh, Power Rangers, I do have Power Rangers fans. This is the movie adaptation, uh, the first uh, movie, way way back in the 90s, not not the newer repop. Uh, Sonic 2, I was actually missing Sonic uh, 2. Um, I probably had one or two or three at some time and sold it. So now I kind of got a little more of a run on the Sonic 2. It looks like, again like it's, it's a pretty high grade book. Uh, I'll have to take it out and check, but it looks all right. So here we go. First Hawkeye and uh, Third Black Widow. Uh, early Tales of Suspense, 57. Um, 39, of course, is when Iron Man first showed up. Uh, lower grade so it's not a high grade book but it looks like it's pretty solid on there and it's one i didn't have uh well again i sold it i had one but it's gone um but a nice solid book so i'm trying to put that run together so weird fantasy um another ec book number 11 low grade so there's one page that's completely shredded uh in here which he noted he told me that so uh i picked it out and he says did you see the note I'm like uh no what's wrong with it uh, it's one of my favorite covers i actually have i think two or three of these issues i just you know if there's an ec turns up that's reasonable i just don't turn it down um they're just getting so hard to find in these parts there it is so i i don't know you know i've had lots of lots of people uh comment you know when i was there hey put some archival tape on it you know use some clear packing tape i mean you really honestly can't hurt it too much at this point but it is it is technically complete it's just this thing got uh this thing got shredded that thing got ripped ripped down near the spine there and the covers uh it covers loose on the bottom staple uh but still it, it's kind of a kind of hit me in my weak spot if you will uh on that because i because of my love for ec and and all things sci-fi horror i'm trying to get that i don't realize that corner got mangled up i don't know if i did that probably did there we go on that uh captain america 117 uh not a super rare book but uh coming to the falcon and uh He's got a top loader and a Mylar. And I would say this is, boy, if that's not a VF, it's darn close. 
I, I think that's probably a good solid VF to be honest with you. I don't, I'm not going to slab it. It's just another one that's going to go in uh, for me. I'll hang on to it for a while um, kind of thing. So I was really happy to get that. And then we've got, whoop, I slip that back in the top loader. I'm not a fan. I don't know if anybody else is. Let me know if you're a fan of these comic top loaders. I think they're an absolute pain in the butt, and they always seem to cut you when you're putting things in and out. Anyway, my little gripe for the day, I guess, maybe. So let me let me know what you think on the top loaders. I, I never used them. I do have some. I ordered some one time, probably a couple of years ago now, and I got them in. It's like, nope, that sucks. So I never used them. Uh, Iron Man 55. So... Another uh, another nice book. Look at the corners. Good color on it. Again, I'm thinking, you know, it's it's off center, which is not not unusual. You can see the white on the spine, but I would say it's probably there's a little fan fan fold, fan crease. Probably still make fine though. Would be my thought on that. I think it's still probably a a fine book. Well, it's a fine. Well, you know what I'm saying. Fine book on that. So that was uh, that was the big dog, really. Well, that or the Falcon. You know, I mean, if you're looking, you know, if you're looking at what he had it stickered at, uh, you know, you're what eleven eleven hundred bucks, thousand bucks, whatever, just for those two books. And uh, last and definitely not least, I got the X Men number fifty CGC four point five. So again, not super high grade on that. Uh, second Polaris uh, Mesmero appearance, Origin of the Beast, new X Men logo, uh, Stranko cover. Uh, so just got a just got a lot of stuff going on. You know, just a, just a book where everything kind of came together. And you have that fantastic Steranko art on there. You know what? That that glare off that Mylar that that Mylar cover is really wreaking havoc. Let's try this again. Probably still won't help much, but I helped a little bit. So so anyway, fantastic book. Looks like by the holder, it's a fairly recent uh, uh, grade. So I, I think that was probably coming back from CGC. Yeah, see, yeah, still getting, there we go. Still getting that silly glare. Probably came back from CGC not too long ago. Uh, so again, not a, not a ton of stuff, but got some keys, got some uh, sci-fi horror, um, you know, some neat uh, uh, pinup art and the Katie Keene. So all in all, I would say it's a pretty good deal. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave me your comments and your feedback on them. And thanks for watching.